All right. Well, um, I did just record this and I forgot to show the screen. So that would not be helpful. Um, but really today I'm going to just go over how to clean up your Facebook really quick. All right. I might kind of run through it relatively quickly. Feel free to pause, play and go back. All right. So, um, I want to point out a few things. This is my main dashboard. When I go to the right hand side, whatever your profile picture is, whether it's a view or something else, that's where you're going to see all of this right now. This is me doing it from an internet browser on my computer. So it might look a little different if you are doing it on your phone or a tablet. Um, if you're doing it on your phone, you're probably going to have to figure out your own way of navigating it right now. Um, so take what you can from this. All right. And try and open up a browser and turn it landscape ways so that you can see what I'm seeing essentially. All right. So if I click on settings and privacy, for those of you that haven't cleaned up your Facebook yet, you might want to do a privacy check. I know a lot of concerns are people seeing past posts of you or your family members, right? So you can check your privacy through here. I just went through this, forgot to record. So I'm going to scan through this, right? Who can see what you share? So I'm going to just go through this, not really talk through it much. Again, you guys can pause and play. But you, could, you can just get an idea from my settings. I would recommend making your current city where you are right now or like the bigger city of where you're at, right? So I'm in a suburb of Chicago, but people can just categorize me under Chicago. I'm not going to put that I'm now from Naperville, okay? I used to live in the city. I have a lot of contacts in the city. And most people, when they go to Chicago, they're looking to visit, visit the city of Chicago, not Naperville. I also have that I am the CEO of my company because I am. If you don't have a company name yet, that's okay. We will fix that later on. Um, today is mainly just about the cleanup, not so much about the business name. Who can see my friends list? And then who can see the people pages and lists that I fo follow? I have that as only me. Honestly, I don't think anyone needs to see that or know. Um, default audience. So I would change this to public once you get your Facebook cleaned up. Um, stories, you could have this as whatever setting you want. Friends, this brings me to friends. Your friends are now your clients, all right? They're not your quote unquote friends that you have in person, right? People that you hang out with, your family members. That term friends moving forward now is your client or are your clients, right? Anything that I say friends, it means your clients. Now, for those of you that are cleaning up your Facebook for your first time, I would limit these posts to your friends right now, okay? And then it'll make it a little easier to clean up because not everyone that adds you can see things, right? Friends and public is still different as far as audience goes. Now, once you work your way through the cleanup, I would advise you to keep in mind, again, that any posts visible to your quote unquote friends are now your clients moving forward. So anyone that you might add in the future as your friend, you need to make sure that you're comfortable with them seeing what's on your page. So if right now you have any hesitation, the answer is it needs to be limited to likely just you. And I'll show you how to do that in a bit. And then you can block people if it ever gets to that point. All right. How people can find you. So anyone can send me friend requests. I want it that way. So that when I'm adding people in groups, they can add me, right? Maybe that maybe I post something, maybe they see something, um, see a comment, right? And they want to add me. That allows them to do so, even if we don't have any mutual friends in common. Phone number, email. 
people can look me up this way if they have that info already. And then my answer for this, yes, I do want other engines outside of Facebook to be able to search this because again, I'm limiting anything that looks questionable, right? Anything I wouldn't want my client to see, regardless of how well I know them, that's going to be hidden. So if you're a teacher, if you have some sort of profession where you're concerned in the past, I know they've, you know, they said to be very private about things. Remember, you're rebranding this for your travel business and it's to your benefit. So anything that's questionable, just go ahead and choose only me for now. All right, how to keep your account secure. It's really just password. You can choose whatever settings you want. Data settings. This is really just the apps that have access to Facebook. When it says, do you want to register with Facebook or an email or whatever it is, right? That's really what that means. Add preferences. You don't have to worry too much about this. All right, so now I'm gonna go to Privacy Center. Let's see. Facebook settings. So these are what you kind of wanna be mindful of, right? Some of this stuff has already, we've already gone through it. But I'm gonna just slowly scroll through here. So you can pause it whenever you want to make sure our settings align with one another. Profile and tagging. Only my friends. So if I make you my friend, if I accept you as a friend of my page, if I allow you to be a potential future client, right? To see my future posts and get updates, then you can post. Who can see what others post? Everyone, sure. Hidden words. So this is something I don't have. It's something maybe in the future I'll do, but it gives you examples of different variations and things. So if you care more to look into that, you can do that. But I don't have anything set up right now. Allow others to share. I have that on. Who can see posts I'm tagged in? Everyone. When I'm tagged, I have it as friends. Reviewing. So I would put both of these on because if anyone tags you and stuff, if anyone posts anything, you have to approve it before it can go on your wall. And then based on the settings you have, I would click on view as, and you can see what your wall looks like. Now intro, we can add this stuff later, but if you don't have a business name yet, then don't worry about it, all right? You can say something about, you know, travel tips, guides, and inspo if you want. This says travel fearlessly because my name is Dauntless Travel, right? I talk, dauntless means fearless, essentially. So that's where that kind of came in. Now, cover photos, all right? So I'm gonna exit view as, and I'm gonna just go to my page right now. So my cover photo, this is about my brand. Now, if you don't have a brand right now, don't worry about having all the content perfect. You will get there. It took me time to build this. I joined in February. I really took off with things in April. Look, I didn't have this up until August. So you guys are doing just fine. Pictures. So my profile pictures. I can edit my audience. I have it as public. Now I would filter through your stuff, whatever you don't want your friends or your clients to see, change that to only me. I can keep navigating, right? Get the point. Settings, um, again, just make sure that you have where you live, like the bigger city of where you live so you're easier to find. Travel highlights, so I have, these are some highlights from my stories that I added. I could do a better job at that, but it is what it is. Now, if I go to photos 
and I click on albums, this is what you are going to want to be mindful of and go through. Depending on the albums that you have, you're going to want to limit that audience. So I'm going to click the dot, 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 edit album. See how it says only me? That's what you're going to want to do for any album that you don't want your friends or your clients to see. I need to still filter through this, but honestly, the photos really aren't bad. I don't really care. I've always had a pretty public life. So um, yeah, just go ahead and filter. I have a lot of albums. I've had this since 2007. So um, you can go ahead and even with your videos, right? You could do the same thing. And then your about section. So you can add info here if you want. I think the biggest thing is the um, details about you. So I got this on ChatGBT. If you don't know what ChatGBT is yet, just leave this blank. That'll be in a different training. Right now, we just want to get your stuff cleaned up. But at least you can see what I have. So in the future, you kind of know the point that you'll want to get to. Um, I think that's really it, to be honest. You can always, like again, go back and view your profile as a certain way under the privacy checkup or the privacy center. Settings, Facebook settings. And then you'll wanna make sure your public posts. Look like that. And then again, you can view it as the public, right? Then you can see what others can see. So I hope that helps. Um, this training, again, is really just to help you get a start on Facebook cleanup.